Alright, what is going on guys? This is your boy Annex Studio here bringing you guys another Photoshop tutorials. Um, I'm actually going to San Francisco tomorrow, but you guys are probably watching this in the future because I need to pre-make this video before I go. So, hello, feature me. Um, this video I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to do the uh, slice effect that I have done with my logo, which is look, which probably looks something like this. You know, the easy peasy slice effects, you know? Just make it look cooler, you know. So that's pro that's probably what I'm gonna do today. So let me just create a real quick document here. I mean, this effect you could basically do with anything. You could do it with like text. You could do it with your logo. You could do it with, like a picture, but it works better with like a logo or a text. So that's just my personal opinion. So let's name this a tutorial. I'm sorry, my keyboard is loud as fuck. Let's make it uh, tiny twenty by ten eighty. And there you go. Now you want to make sure that I don't know whatever color you want it, but most like I really like blacks for my background. So there we go. Um, now for this little album, I'm probably just gonna find a random ass logo and just put it in. So give me a second. I need to find a freaking logo that fits the whole you know the whole deal and stuff. You know what? I'm just gonna do it on my logo since you know. I'm just gonna show you how it, how it's done. So. So let me just drag this. I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't drag things into my Photoshop, but there, that's my logo in the future. Let me just scale, scale this down a little bit. Um, oh, I, need, I don't have the uh, guiding things to turn on. So I, I just like, I just, this is just my personal preference. I really like to uh, have things in the middle. So there we go. All right, let me just put this back. There we go. And there we go. And now for this tutorial, I'm gonna deal with an outline, like just strokes or outline, whatever. It looks better with strokes in my opinion, but you could do it with like solid logos or text. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to like make it into like strokes and that kind of stuff. So first off, you gotta press Control and then click on the thumbnail on your uh, logo thing. I don't know. Yeah, the logo layers. Click uh, Control and click on the thumbnail for your logo. And you're gonna select Modify Contract by fucking I don't know five pixel or ten pixel, whatever feel, uh, flows your belt. Five. Now that's too thin, so I'm just gonna add another five. There we go. Now just press delete and control D. There we go. Now all you have to do is to zoom in, fix the edges. So all you have to do is just do this. Maybe zoom in a little bit, you know, just kind of get the edges, like sharpen out the edges and maybe zoom out a little bit. You know? I just want to make it easier for you guys to see. Yes. Just one pixel down. You know, you, you just gotta like try and arrow and stuff for this, for this kind of uh, stuff. So there you go. now, when you get to the corner, you definitely need to like zoom in and stuff so you can get make sure you get the uh, right angle and stuff. So all right, that okay. That should probably work. Something like that, and just just go all the way back. Let's go all the way back here, over here, connect it, and then make sure your color, foreign color is on uh, white, and just press fill on the path. Now you see this little glitchy spot over here, like sticking out? All you have to do is just uh, pick the your selection tool and then just select this, pick this part, be very careful and just delete it. You could do it like on here too, so you just want to clean the edges and stuff. And other edges like here just give me a second it's gonna take a few uh, it's, it's not gonna take long it just like you know makes it makes it look better and stuff so it's worth it trust me it's, it's worth it to like do these little fixes and stuff otherwise your design gonna look completely like, completely like shit so oh my god what did I do there we go Sorry, dude, this computer is a little bit fucked up. I need to change the keyboard, so there we go. Now just clean the edges like I, like before. Drag the selections. Delete it here, just make it a little bit lower like that. You should be perfectly fine over here also. Sorry, that was my mom calling the background for uh, freaking dinner and stuff. I need to finish recording this tutorial before I ever go down, so don't worry, guys. And sometimes it takes a few, so like for a few moments, like there we go. It takes a few moment, moments to uh, fix it. So there we go. You got a perfectly um, 
sharpen thing and whatever now just just to make it a little bit more interesting you can go to your layer style and go to your grading overlay and then just choose a color you like well, i like to do blue so i'm just gonna go with a bright blue, uh, this blue a little brighter and a little bit darker blue right here even more lighter like that so there we go you got a really nice blue and just kind of and you don't want to rest up rest you don't want to rasterize the layer yeah well actually yeah you do first copy the layer style because you're going to need a later copy layer style rasterize layer style and all you have to do is go to your pencil make sure the mode is on path and just drag to see where do you want to cut your shape i'm actually going to do it from here to here and there we go and then just right click select sh make selections enter and then just choose your selection tool and just and just move it that's that's uh, that's how e easy it is just move it to the place you like and control d to deselect or command d if you're on max a mac and i'm just gonna do another one right here just to make it interesting selections. so yeah Now, that's probably a little bit too much, but for tutorial purpose, I'm not gonna fix it. Um, now, like you, you guys see my uh, thing, I have this little slice effect, like in the uh, for the, the, the for my uh, freaking logo and stuff. All you have to do, I'm just gonna show it on you uh, for you for one edges. All you have to do is go here, click on it. Uh, actually, before that, paste the layer style on it. And then go right here, make sure like you get the right angle and just draw like the triangles and stuff. So I'm just gonna do it for on the few, make sure like the uh, direction is all the same, otherwise it look disgusting as fuck, so. I'm sorry, it's really hard to get energetic in those kind of tutorials and stuff, so. Sometimes when you feel like something's not right, just control, command, control Z or command Z. Z is always the right thing to do. If you don't, if you feel like something is disgusting as fuck, just go. You know. Now for this part, you just, all, all you gotta do is just do, do the other, do the other directions. It will look perfectly fine. Also this part too. So I'm just gonna do like three edges and then the rest because it's gonna take a long time to do all these things. Well, not long time, but it's, it's gonna take some time. I'm sorry for that fucking sound. Don't know why. Bullshit. There we go. Now I'm just gonna zoom back out. Since you already have the color, you already have the gradient overlay on, all you have to do is just fill path, enter, delete the path, and you see this, you get this little nice, um, little nice freaking slices on the edge. So that's how basically I do it. Another way you can make this more like a wallpaper is you could actually go on the background, go press B on your uh, brush tool right there. And make sure the uh, softness hardness is on zero percent, and make sure your color is on white or whatever color you want it. Actually, just make, don't make it black, so, and then just simply click in the middle, and that's your light source. And just turn the uh, opacity down maybe thirty. That's too much. Just basically, I don't know, ten, five, whatever, whatever like seems cool. It's basically how you do a five. Five seems pretty cool, so. There you go, you have a pretty nice wallpaper done right there. So that's basically how you do your slice effects. Hopefully you guys enjoy those kind of tutorials. If you guys do enjoy those kind of tutorials, I'm going to do more in the future. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Leave some comments to see what you guys thought about it. And I will see you guys in the future video. Peace. Hey, please be sure to like and subscribe.